In the Nuba Mountains of Sudan, violence between government troops and opposition fighters uh, forced uh, more than 70,000 people from their homes in the past few weeks, greatly increasing the pressure on aid organisations to provide food, water and shelter and to save lives. Most of the refugees are in camps across the border in South Sudan. And from there, the BBC's Andrew Harding has sent this report. On a dirt track, a weary family driven on by fear and desperation. They've been walking for days. And thousands more are coming, fleeing for their lives. Why did you come here? Yeah, I mean. Hunger, she says, too tired to elaborate. This is what she's escaping from, danger overhead. In the Nuba Mountains, the bombs are falling every day. Get down, he says. The Sudanese government is not only trying to crush an armed rebellion, but bringing an entire population to its knees. Hiding in caves from the circling plains, tens of thousands now live like this. It's too dangerous to go out to farm so they can't feed themselves, and foreign aid is not allowed in. And so whole communities are trying to leave, crossing the border into South Sudan in growing numbers. There's another family just arriving now, joining the other exhausted people here. It's pretty clear that these people are being targeted by a military campaign that is designed to terrorize and displace civilians. Long queues to register at this refugee camp. All have their scars from the bombings. Halima tells me she had to leave behind two of her children. They were too young to make the journey. A bomb killed her husband. With each passing week, the condition of those arriving gets worse. There is help for them here, but growing fear for those left behind in Nuba. What were you eating? She said that we were just eating things from the trees, from the trees. Is this getting worse? Yeah. Every day we receive a lot of them with severe malnutrition these days. I and more and more? Yeah, and more and more. Others even they are dying on the way coming here. A dangerous journey here then, but the camp is filling up fast as terror and hunger make their deliberate way through the Nuba Mountains. Andrew Harding, BBC News, South Sudan.